Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC. Today we have the Chasing M2 on the table and we are doing a short review of this. We are not going to go in depth of the specs of it. We also have the grabbing arm for the Chasing M2 which is a powerful tool together with the ROV itself. The ROV comes with a charger, a 100 meter of waterproof cable and of course a radio. Who or whom are the M2 chasing targeted for? Me and Elna, we have been running this channel now for so long. Uh, we mainly do uh, RC airplane, RC helicopters and boats and cars. But we also have another channel called In Real. I will of course uh, put the links in the info section below. Uh, the In Real channel is all about nature, our trips, things that we see and do when we are on vacations. I always wanted to learn how to dive so I could take my camera under the sea, filming fish and so on, under sea wildlife. Uh, but then these ROVs started to uh, appear on the market, uh, some of them very bad, uh, some of them better. And what are we to choose? Uh, I have no reference from before, so I can't say to you that you have to buy this or you have to buy that, but I can tell you a little bit about our experience using the Chasing M2. It's beautiful, it's such a powerful tool, and for us, filming nature and wildlife, the target for me is filming fish and underwater uh, wildlife. This is also a tool for uh, if you're living near a boat club or something like that or you are working at a fish plant out on the sea, checking those nets under the sea, this is a powerful tool which will do exactly that. With eight thrusters this has so much movement in it you can drive it which way you would like. You have these omnidirection movements. You can turn it like this. You can drive it like that. You can drive it like that. You can drive it like that. It, even which way you would like, which is the best for your preferences. You can really <laughs> make this ROE go any way you want. Small things to take in consideration. When we were filming uh, in the sea, you have these uh, brownish seaweeds. If you get those in the thrusters, uh, the drone will just shut down. The only thing you have to do is press this key button on the radio. Everything will shut down and the drone will float up. You can also pull it in to where you are remove the seaweeds, put it back in the sea. Uh, these thrusters, they aren't protected with anything, so they will suck seaweeds and other stuff in that. So if you really want to do as I wanted to do, I wanted to like float through the seaweeds almost like a fish. Um, as you can see here, the result isn't that good. But this is something that easily can be fixed if uh, uh, the uh, chasing firm can provide with some vents that won't allow seaweed to go into the thrusters. Immediately when you see that the ROV is just tilting down, just shut down the thrusters so you don't burn the ESCs or the motors and you're good to go after removing the seaweed. That is the only problem that we uh, met testing this beautiful ROV. Uh, make sure when you're filming in seawater, make sure that you wash it or rinse it perfectly afterwards. We just put it in a bucket of uh, fresh water, uh, rinse it, put it in a bucket of fresh water, uh, new fresh water, and let it soak there for an hour to remove all the salt. Uh, there is uh, salt lines, even though how much we rinse it, there is salt lines around places, but you can use a toothbrush or a, a small brush 
just try to get rid of everything because over time the salt will tear on the screws and you, they will change color of course uh, corroding I think they're calling it but make sure that you treat this ROV with some love and you will have it for a long long time so our goal was to film uh, undersea wildlife and we actually did get some cool shots we are filming in 4k 25p um, the reason that is all the things that we are posting on the Ingrid channel is in 4k uh, the only thing I miss with the uh, chasing M2 is that they have the possibility to film in 4k 60p or 50p because that means that I can also add some slow motions to the clip you have a slow motion feature in the app that means you are filming in 1080 even though this camera has a CMOS sensor I really would love that in an updated version they have a bigger camera uh, bigger sensor of course the 4k image on this ROV is beautiful you also have the claw uh, to pick up stuff from the seabed during our test we didn't use the claw because it wasn't our intention using the claw uh, elephant have sent it um, with the ROV when we got it to test it so um, if you are looking to see some testing of the claw you won't see it in our videos our videos are totally based on what the our interest is and for what we are going to use a future drone for for our channel uh, the claw is cool uh, it's also a powerful tool it has 12 kilos of driving force that means when you grab something and pull it you can pull 12 kilos with it before it uh, releases it or lose it it's what's stated in the manual so the app transmits to uh, the radio which has 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz we have been using the 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi because that gives us uh, much more stable quality on uh, the video feed that you get from the drone and you don't have all these glitches which you have in 2.4 I don't know why but the 5 gigahertz is the best one and you're sort of transmitting from here to here by Wi-Fi so I'm not sure why it doesn't hold on to the 2.4 gigahertz that good but on the 5 gigahertz you will have rock solid image yeah you have light controls you have the unlock locking of the drone when you throw the drone in the water and you press this one the drone will activate the thrusters and it will go down you just give it a little notch on the down um, on the down control here and you will have it underwater and you're ready to go um, this is a self leveling button so when you're filming underwater and the drone is sort of starting to tilt you can just press this one and the drone will self-correct um, beautiful feature in the back here you have the buttons you have camera you have the uh, grabbing claw this one takes a little bit uh, practice because uh, there are long touches fast touches <laughs> and slow touches and so on but this is for you that are going to use this as a tool of course it's easy to handle you have an HDMI uh, output here so you can see it on a bigger screen that is cool if you're working on um, for example a uh, fish plant uh, you are able to show others or have things on a bigger screen so it's easier to see uh, perhaps holes in the nets and so on so um, it's a quite it's quite a cool tool actually so big questions before I show you guys the video of the uh, chasing M2 would I buy this <laughs> of course uh, I it seems a bit strange though doing a test of something that you can't afford right now but when I can afford it I would of course get one of these in my collections 
hopefully, of course, if it comes like a version 2 or something like that with that 4K 60p, I would be very happy. But I would definitely buy this one, of course, not a problem. This is a very powerful tool for me. Being able to get down under sea filming fish, filming sea life, it's beautiful. All the things that we have seen by using this for the past two weeks is just amazing. Make sure and make note. If you're going to film underwater, you need to film on places where, where you have the clearest view. You can easily see this by going uh, along the shore side and you can see through the sea and the bottom and you know this is a great space. We tested this one out on a fresh lake. I actually want to bet because I was claiming that this lake that is a very popular baiting place. It has so much crawfish in it and people were, no, it doesn't exist. The first thing that we noticed, and this water is not um, uh, clear water because of all the baiting people, you will have the mud really circulating in the water and you have debris everywhere and the sight is near impossible but we managed to see the crawfish. I want to bet and my friend is not going to bed in this lake anymore. <laughs> so uh, we tried to pick out locations where the water is at the clearest. This is to see better and to create better content for our in real channel. So it's time for me now to Put this baby back in the bag and send it back to Elephant. Thank you so very much Elephant for loaning me this uh, ROV. I'm stunned. Um, it's really really a fun tool and a powerful tool of course. I'm not going to talk more now. I'm going to show you the video that we made from all the clips that we got out of this ROV. If you want to buy this, the link is in the info section below. And again, thank you Elephant for letting us test this ROV out. It's now coming back to you guys. A shorter video of the M2 chasing ROV will be posted in our in real channel where we only are going to post uh, the beautiful shots that we got testing this. And also make sure that you subscribe and share this video if you like our content.